Nigeria's Apapa Oshudi Expressway in Lagos State, the country's commercial capital, can best be described as the gateway to the country. Over the years, a heavy duty usage, high traffic volume, and poor maintenance has left the road in disrepair, impacting the country's social economic indices. Nigeria's government embarked on major rehabilitation work on the road for the past few years to reverse this negative trend. To assess work progress, Nigeria's Minister of Work and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, inspected the road on Monday. Bernard Akedi followed the inspection team and has this report. The Honourable Minister of Works and Housing inspecting the ongoing rehabilitation work at the Liverpool Bridge in Napapa Axis of Lagos. This area was known for its bad roads and was occupied by street traders and hoodlums who further worsened the situations. The minister's inspection of the ongoing road project starts from here, and though the work isn't complete, the changes are becoming obvious. The conditions of the road, uh, containers essentially turning over, uh, gridlock in our papa, in 2015-2016 and uh, how this was a front and center issue. The common belief uh, was that it was just the road, but there were many other problems. Uh, all we need to now say is that the road from Liverpool, from the port access down to Creek Road, all the way to Tinkan Island has been resolved. From there, the convoy moved to inspect other parts of the project, several kilometers of ongoing work which attempts to free up the roads already known for traffic congestion caused by heavy trucks and tankers either going to or coming from the ports. According to the minister, the government is doing its part to work on the roads but is still having issues with motorists disobeying traffic rules. He also suggested diverting some of the cargo coming into the Lagos ports to ports in other parts of the country so as to reduce the congestion at Lagos ports, which will in turn reduce pressure on the roads. We have Calabar port, we have Wari port, we have Coco port, and when you study the movement of all this cargo, I doubt if 50% of them stay in Lagos. So why don't we ship straight? to where the cargo is going and, and get some relief. At the final stop in mile two, the minister gave his assessment on the work so far, explaining the challenges faced and what is expected when the work is finally complete. If this road is properly used, not abused, we can be sure that we will have 40 years of service, but nothing lasts if it is abused. And this is why my central message on this inspection tour, again, is law and order. Citizens must look themselves in the mirror now, that now that we are responding, providing the assets, how long do we want it to last? According to the minister, the majority of the work will be completed by the end of the year, all other things being equal. Bernard Akede. New Central Lagos.